Hello. Today I'm very excited to be able to share with you the Natural Gas Pipeline Company of America Turbine Control System, or the NGPL TCS. Uh, this was actually used to control two jet turbines. The system was released in 1969. The computer portion was released in 1967. And I have a previous video where I run Lunar Lander on that component. Now, in the years since that video, I've been working a lot on restoring this Model 33 teletype and the rest of the system. So today, I'm excited to be able to show you a full tour of all the components and then a demonstration of the relays operating um, and also this red-green display showing the output of that. So um, thank you for joining me and um, I'm really excited to get started here. So uh, let's start with the computer. Of course, this is the SEL 810A. Um, it utilizes paper tape. It has um, 16 kilowatts, so 32 kilobytes of uh, memory. It's a 16-bit system um, from 1967. Now in 1969, this whole solution you're looking at, which is the turbine control system came out, okay? Um, right here we have our first cabinet which is all I.O., okay? Um, right here we have our discrete inputs, which are um, at the logic level, right? Discrete outputs, solid state. Again, these are gonna be your um, logic level. Um, discrete input relays. Um, these are the ones that will run at the uh, station level, which is 24 volts. Um, and then the discrete output relays. And then in the back, of here we've got uh, a full set of cards as you can see which is uh, more relays uh, and logic um, to support all of the io on the system now moving over let me go ahead and move my seat here so i can bring you to the next part of the system um, we've got here starting at the top uh, a modem okay and just above this is the eia 232 um, interface, okay? Then we've got our clock, all right? So um, this is the electronics for driving our Nixies way over here, okay? So um, really neat, these are buttons here, okay? Um, and then going down, we've got our analog digital converters down here, and we've also got right here, our uh, monitoring relays, and I'll get to how those work. Um, and then going down, we've got power supplies. So we've got power supplies here, and we've got power supplies all on the bottom of that guy. Um, lots of power supplies, and then our Nixie high voltage supply is actually back up in here, okay? So everything has been tested and works except for two things, major systems. The EIA-232 interface, I have not been able to get working. I have the schematics, it's repairable. Um, everything's discrete, so everything should be very repairable, but um, that is broken. Um, and the AD converter I have not tested, the AD converters. Okay, so let's continue on. We have our um, control panel, okay? Uh, the control panel is really neat. Um, these are binary coded decimal uh, little inputs here. These are Nixie displays. I'll turn all this on in a second so you can see it, but it's really loud when it's running. Um, these are light up buttons here, okay? Let me move this cable here, it's very important. That actually runs to my high speed paper tape reader and I'll explain that as we go back along the input loop, okay? Um, so uh, going down, we've got our buttons, right? So some of these are field DC on, field DC off, field alarm, system alarm, active alarm recall. These guys are really neat, okay? And there's a reason they're on while the rest of the system is off. Um, these are driven by our monitoring relays right here. And I actually pulled one of the boards to show you guys. Let me sit down. I should change the focus here and uh, show you this board here. And you can see, look how gorgeous that is. All hand drawn. So each of these guys, okay, um, what they do is they are switching relays. And what that means is that whenever um, the uh, input to them changes, it will actually switch. So, uh, and permanently, physically switch um, states. And that's what you're seeing on that Christmas tree display. I call it Christmas tree because it's red and green, okay? 
Um, those are incandescent bulbs being driven by the field 24 volts. I have a power supply back there providing that. Um, and they will reflect whatever the last state of the relays is. And the point is, if and when the system, the computer crashes, right, or freezes or fails entirely, catches on fire or whatever, those relays will reflect the last state the, the system was at, okay? Um, and that's very important for troubleshooting, obviously, because again, this was uh, running a gas pipeline. And, and when I say running a gas pipeline, I mean jet turbines. It was running two jet turbines. So really, really uh, quite mission critical stuff, okay? Um, so let's keep going. Uh, now we reach uh, our teletypes. So you'll notice there's two teletypes in front of the system. Um, this is my uh, SEL bus interface teletype, okay? Um, so this goes with the system. Um, the reason being, in the bottom of this, there are additional electronics um, that were utilized, that are utilized to be the SEL bus interface. And that's why you see this high-speed paper tape reader cable coming off of here is because this is where that high-speed paper tape reader on the front of the SEL interfaces with the SEL bus, okay? Um, and the SEL bus is this thick cable you've got here. So um, it's one of these 104 pin connectors, okay? This is the SEL bus. Um, this particular cable is actually our output relay. So it's 208 pins, and uh, you can see how they decommission these systems. Right, that's just 208 little cables um, between the two. So, fun times. So, we've got our teletype. Now, in the 80s, this thing was retrofitted to utilize RS-232, okay, um, in, to um, drive a um, hard copy terminal to replace the unreliable Model 33 teletype. So that's that board you can see on top there. And what we've done, or what I've done, is interfaced that um, to this little modern computer up here through my little four port RS-232 adapter. And I've also got it interfaced to my uh, working Model 33, okay? Uh, which has been converted to RS-232. So we're able to, to interface the full system. So let me turn it all on just so you can see what it all looks like. Um, as you can see, obviously our monitoring relays are on. They're never off in, a, in an operational state. Um, I'll start with the clock. You can see those Nixies over there fired up. Um, next, I'll fire up my interface. Okay, so you can see the buttons lit up there. Um, my subsystem panel lit up. Um, and I've got my uh, Nixies there. So this is all live now. Okay, so let's fire up the system. First the teletype, and then the computer. Now, we already have our loader in memory, so we're just gonna go ahead and step right over here. Try to get my face here so that it focuses up closer to here. Do a master clear. I've got this program that I wrote in mnemonic assembler or nimbler, okay? So let me go ahead and um, find the end. Put the tape, oh, I've got it upside down. There we go. Put the tape into the system. Close the bar, master clear. Now I want to run the loader program, which is at 36060. Put that in my program counter, clear my transfer register, and then I'm going to enter 2000 into my A accumulator. That tells the program that I want to load this tape at location 2000, and then start stop. Okay, and we've got load complete, which means that we're looking good here. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, load the program at 2000 into our program counter. And uh, there we are, we are, we are running. So um, here you can see my 
relays, uh, or rather the status uh, monitor of the relays running. Um, these are all incandescent bulbs. And it, wow, I'm, uh, I'm so excited to be able to share this with you. Um, this is really just an obscene amount of work um, to get this all running. Um, but uh, over here you can see um, we're printing status on our teletype. And um, the teletype actually has this really neat tensioner. This came with the original system and it is keeping that paper just nicely um, heating up. So thank you so much for joining me today as I was shared with you the NGPL TCS. Its next stop is going to be a museum um, in San Antonio. I've made those arrangements um, where the public will be able to see it. And I hope that this video is useful for people um, working on the system in the future. Um, because of the discrete nature of the system, the fact that there's complete schematics, there are now two different uh, emulators for the system. Uh, let me pause for a second while, uh, while the teletype prints out my status. Love that. Anyway, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.